And as more and more cases are confirmed, the hospitals are working to make sure that they have beds available for the most critical patients. One thing, though, that they have run into is patients who are well enough to leave, but they have nowhere to go. Yeah, Harborview Medical Center is repurposing a building nearby for that very purpose. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy is there live right now. She got a look inside Harborview Hall. Allison? Monique, this is it, Harborview Hall. We saw workers here all day getting this building ready for patients. Now, it will be staffed with doctors and nurses from Harborview Medical Center, and they don't have far to go. It's right across the street. It's really for those individuals who do not need a hospital setting, but don't have an alternative in terms of a safe, secure environment. Harborview Medical Center CEO Paul Hayes took us inside Harborview Hall as workers get it ready for a new purpose. The building will be used to care for vulnerable patients who are recovering from coronavirus or waiting to see if they have it. So as we think about those who are unstably housed and their predetermined vulnerability for perhaps being COVID positive, Instead of keeping them in the hospital, when we're using every square inch of the hospital, we're designing a program with the support of King County. The facility frees up hospital beds for more critical patients. This side of the building is for patients who have test results pending. The other side of the building will be for patients who have tested positive for coronavirus. Harborview Hall used to be a dormitory for nursing students. What used to be the nursing library is now filled with bunk beds. Most recently, the building was a homeless shelter run by the Salvation Army. The county needed the space at Harborview Hall and so uh, asked us to move into a temporary space. As a shelter, Harborview Hall housed 85 people. As a recovery space for coronavirus, it will care for 45 patients and be staffed by doctors and nurses from Harborview. According to UW Medicine, its virology lab has greatly increased the speed of test results. The turnaround time is around seven to eight hours, so we'll know very, very quickly um, what is the next step in that patient's continuum of care. And while the patients being cared for here will not be in critical need, that's the plan, they'll be cared for by these level one doctors and nurses who will be ready for anything. There are also recovery centers being set up in Shoreline, Bellevue, and Seattle's Inner Bay neighborhood. Live in Seattle, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.